update on the uh, Chevy truck build and I'm uh, going to show you the loose parts that were in the box you know the glass the uh, tail lights whatnot the uh, the resin parts I, like I said I'm going to use is the uh, the it's about a five inch uh, cowl hood instead of the stock hood um, and the wheels uh, a five spoke from somewhere in the Ravel kits the California wheels and I don't recall which one again so and uh, the ZR1 taillight panel. Um, there we got those as well. And so that's it for the loose parts. And now another look at the chrome. The other loose parts that were in the box. Uh, I did buy the kit uh, second hand from a uh, at a show from from someone selling it off. So uh, there were a few loose parts in there. Now I did realize or I did find out that when I did buy it that the stock wheels were gone all we have left is the uh, the custom wheels which I'm not going to use but unfortunately what happened when the stock wheels left so did the stock tires and uh, the wheel backs now with the wheels that I showed earlier the California wheels from Revell, the five spokes I don't have any wheel backs well nothing handy yet but I'm gonna dig around for them and uh, we'll have some decent wheel backs to uh, to back it up so uh, got to hang the wheels on something wheels and tires are got to hang on something so uh, that's where we are with uh, those parts coming up the black parts I think I'll go through the black parts uh, tree by tree just uh, for those of you that have never built this kit before there's uh, mostly chassis and uh, suspension bits presto changeo we've got uh, engine block halves and uh, a few other engine pieces and uh, exhaust another spare I guess I got two spares somewhere in there so uh, firewall that kind of you know the regular stuff there's a um, a louvered back window for it uh, I doubt I'm gonna or window cover I doubt I'm gonna use it but uh, there it is it exists and we have the floor pan pretty flat pretty standard floor pan some uh, some more engine stuff some uh, of the front uh, bumper and grill stuff and uh, that's that okay tailgate dash stuff hood heat seats I, like I guess I'm not gonna use the hood I'm gonna use the uh, the resin 5 inch cowl induction hood get to the grill and the front bumper so it's all black 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 everywhere you go in this kit it's black so there we go and the body Chevy Silverado C1500 uh, and uh, now the deal with uh, building this with the ZR1 taillight panel which I'll show you there this portion just at the bottom below where the tailgate is that has to come out so very simply that'll just take the Dremel out and uh, saw that off and oh another thing I'm going to explain about the back side is that if we're using other taillights then we got to fill in the taillights that are there so um, there's holes for the taillights there's the taillights so I'm going to use those taillights to fill it and I'll sand around and make sure all the seams are gone so that we'll have uh, we won't have way too many taillights <laughs> it fills in quite nicely um, also with the ZR1 panel I'm not going to need that rear bumper either so I've got a rear step bumper that uh, will go into the parts bin for some reason uh, maybe a, something else someday and again we'll go back to the front and we got a Silverado 1500 and we now have slightly sanded and gotten it's not gonna sit properly yeah there it is and we got about a five inch roughly a five inch cowl induction resin hood I'm gonna be shoving that in the um, in the Wesley's bleach white along with the taillight panel and we'll get the uh, any mold release that might be on it get those stripped off Okay, we're back to it. I'm just going to uh, mock up uh, or show you the mocked up uh, ride height. 
we're going to try to get her sitting like that. As you can see, they're just sort of sitting there on some uh, on some files right now. The, the front tire is actually touching the inside of the uh, inside fender, so you have to adjust that a little bit. But um, kind of like the nice nice low ride height. Uh, I think it'll work. And finally, for the update, uh, I think this is the color I'm going to go with. And uh, this is the paint system. Uh, I've shown it in photos, but I haven't really explained it. Uh, Transtar 2-in-1 primers, uh, they're excellent, excellent primers. Uh, very forgiving. Um, they lay down very nicely, so uh, this is what I'll use. Is I'll start with the gray, and uh, I'll go on with the white, uh, you know, for sanding purposes, and see where, uh, where there's any problems were under there. Um, the color of paint, it's called, if you can see that, Chrysler Sunburst Orange. Um, now what I do, and there's a, it's kind of hard to tell in the fluorescent light, but it, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice kind of darky orange, whatever. So, uh, and there's my clear coat. Is uh, little Dr. Cranky uh, recommended and approved? It's uh, Dupont Acrylic Clear. It's uh, for acrylic trim and jam clear. Again, an excellent hard hard clear coat it comes up uh, dries up flashes over really nicely it dries very quickly and it's a hard hard surface uh, so it's um, it's excellent uh, get back to the paint actually is um, a spray bomb mixed uh, from our my local auto jobber auto paint jobber um, here in Windsor it's uh, um, Cross Canada Auto Body on Walker Road. Now what they do is they'll make up uh, spray bombs, and they charge about thirty-three bucks for them for this size of a can. I think it's about a ten ounce. I can't tell for sure. Um, but what happens is uh, people will order spray bombs. Uh, auto shops, even private people, will order it, and uh, they don't pick them up. If they sit there for a little while, I'll go in say once a month and go, "Hey, do you have any unclaimed uh, spray bombs?" And they'll come out with a handful or not or whatever and they generally don't charge me certainly don't charge me full price for them they really just cover their costs so um, not gonna let the cat out of the bag but it's a whole lot cheaper in their automotive colors now you don't really get a lot of choice because it's whatever people have ordered the leftover I seem to I, they're cheap enough that I can grab them I got a couple silvers you know three four different shades of blue uh, there's a couple odd colors every once in a while you get nice uh, you get lucky and you'll get a nice color like that uh, I've got some Ford race red there's some other colors uh, I've got that are um, yeah they're out of the norm but generally there's whites there's silvers there's blacks metallic black which is nice so you might want to try that if you have a auto paint jobber auto body jobber that mixes paints in store check with them and see if they have any unclaimed cans um, and like I said, the, the store at least just wants to cover their costs. And um, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, it, it should be a nice color. Uh, looks like it's going to be nice. Um, don't know what, uh, unless something else comes up. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go again this weekend to the auto shop, uh, auto paint shop, and see if there's anything else. But uh, I think this is going to be it. So anyway, we'll talk later. We'll update it when I get the uh, resin parts out of the... Uh, Wesley's bleach white and get them sort of cleaned up and uh, make that body uh, modification to the rear end with the uh, taillight panel um, and the existing Chevy C1500 taillights. Talk to you later. Bye.